Hello everyone, this is Matt at FixMyGPU.com Today I'm going to show you how to fix your E74 error on your Xbox 360. Generally it can be a GPU error or a HANA or ANA error. Um, generally I start off with the GPU and test that to make sure that that's the problem. Um, more than likely it's the GPU. It's generally the main error that I see so that's usually what I try first. So I'm going to pause the tape and get it over to my other bench and I'll show you how to take it apart and uh, we'll go from there. Before I move over to the workbench I wanted to show you how to test your error code. Basically you hold down the sync controller button and then push the eject button four times each time you press the eject button the lights will flash a different color giving you a four digit code if four lights light up it's considered a zero if one light lights up it's considered a one two lights would be two three lights would be three uh, but all four lights is considered a zero there is no four so I'm going to do that on this and show you the error code hold down the sync button and then push the eject button goes one zero two two and you push it again and it goes back to the normal code for the normal error message so one zero two two and if you go on the internet and type in xbox 360 error codes you'll get especially if you go to google you'll get a link a page i can't think of the name it's on our website if you go to our homepage as well and scroll down to the bottom and then click on the how to check your error code and then under there in there there's a link to the website but anyways if you go on that website uh, it'll show you what the error codes mean and what the general errors could be what the general fixes need to be for that error code okay let's go to the bench okay so I generally like to put the stuff that I'm working on on something soft so I got a foam pad here um, First thing we need to do is put your fingers back right on this side and just kind of pull and pull off the faceplate. Should come pretty easy. I always wiggle, don't force something that doesn't need to come. Faceplate. Okay. Um, the Microsoft sticker has been removed. Uh, this is one of customers of mine. Um, you don't see the Microsoft sticker in any, anymore. You just see the residue left behind. I'm not sure if they got into it and tried to fix it, but you know, it's just a thing. Chance they're going to take. I don't think he had. I think he has. He didn't. He didn't mention it. I'm pretty sure I asked him. So once you get that. can see you got a hole here and a hole here just need to take something and kind of trying to do this so you guys can see it there's a little latch and a little thing in there it kind of clips you just got to kind of pull it off you guys can see. Okay, and then in these little holes you can see another tab. Just kind of push it in and it keeps pulling up. And voila, that one came off easy. And one of them is broken off, so obviously somebody's been in it. Flip it over. You gotta do the same thing. Excuse me, on this side. Now there's a couple tabs in the front here. Well, 
fell off. This one is in good shape. Okay. So now, I like to get the front off, kind of pull up the front first. Just lift up this tab. And there's one in the middle. And then there's one on the side here. Just trying to get a little bit of space. There's even one on the end. Okay, you can see I got the front separated. I turn to the back. And there's these little tiny spots where a little flathead can fit into. And it's usually pretty darn small. Basically, just want to push, and you hear a click, kind of keep tension on it, as like, like you're pulling it apart as you push them in. And then there's two on the bottom down here. Voila. See, I mean, one of these clips caught back together, so you just gotta open it back up. And there's the bottom part. Let's set that to the side. Okay, now on this Xbox, the Elite, they've got different colored screws to show you. I guess there's the gold ones that hold the board on, the black ones that hold the X-clamp, and the silver ones that hold the bottom case. So what we need to do, first we're going to take our eject button off. That's simple. Now we're going to proceed, take the silver ones off, two, three, four, five, six. And I suggest you find the right size tip the first time, because you'll strip them out when you try to take them off, or when you try to put them back on. And there's these six long screws. Once you get those six out, flip it over. And the top part should just raise off. Okay, so now proceed to lift up the DVD drive. See in there, there's two cables, one SATA and one for the power. Just pull those off. There's our DVD drive. Of 
Okay. Now the fan cover. Sometimes it pops right off. Sometimes you gotta stick your little screwdriver in there and get it to un unattach it. So. Heat sinks. Heat sink is bent. I don't know why. And then we had the fan. Uh, I like to take it out, so just go ahead and disconnect it. Just lift it up, pull the fan forward, pull it out. Okay, flip it back over. Well, let's take our uh, power button off first. Pull that tab off. Once again, find the right size screw tip. There's three on here. This pulls right out. Now I'll flip it over. It doesn't really matter which order you take these screws out, so just take them out. Alright, all the screws are out. 